Good morning. Today's the day when we switch things up. This is still the old phone. Give us a good morning life for its send off, but we're gonna head out of here here in a second. Ooh, look at that, play with the sun. And go open up the new phone because the new phone is ready. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the plan moving forward because it's not just gonna be one phone theoretically. I'm gonna try out three phones and see how they do because I've always wondered what phone is the best phone for vlogging, particularly daily vlogging, but that, that's just my use case. And I've always wanted to know. I, I chew through phones because I used them back in the day when I filmed every day on my phone. They were always overheating. I would just work through them. I'd kill them in like six months to maybe a year where they just started falling apart and like throwing errors and crashing all the time, whatever else. So I've gone through a number of phones, but I've always wondered like, what is better? iPhone, Samsung, something else? I don't know. I can tell you this much. I'm not super thrilled with the uh, Pixel 3 right now, but you know, maybe I should give it another chance. Maybe it's just this unit. We'll find out. In the meantime, I'm gonna finish my run, and then let's go, you know, open a phone and some other stuff. It's kind of an unboxing day, and we're gonna go make muffins with my friend Jane. So really, there's a lot to look forward to in today's episode. We have all of this to get through, but uh, this is what you've been waiting for. There's actually a lot of really fun stuff that I'm, I'm so excited to get into in that pile that I'm having a hard time containing myself right now because I, I think I just wanna think. <laughs> but this is also something I'm really excited about. And I'll tell you why. Hold on. There's my knife. Where the flip would it, where would it go? Ah, found it. Can knife, can coffee. So forgive the sound booth setup right now. Uh, this is my makeshift sound booth for the audiobook, which we'll talk about here soon. Today we're talking about phones. And I, oh, I got that on the first try. And the art of vlogging on a phone. Now, this is going to be a little bit different than your average phone review because I'm, I'm not here to review it as a phone. I don't care about it as a phone. I don't use phones. Well, I do use phones. That's not entirely true. But what I want out of a phone is a camera. <laughs> And that should be pretty obvious based on just kind of like my lifestyle and my choices that I've made. So every time I go for a phone, I've got to go for the best camera, which is how they suck me into getting the best phone every time. And you know what? More power to them because it's working very well. Now this is the Galaxy S20 Plus. Uh, supposedly, Samsung's current flagship phone. I don't actually keep track of this stuff as closely as I used to um, because I don't really care, but I do care about, you know, making sure that I can give you the best quality footage and experience that you could possibly have every time I make a video. So what I'm going to do is a little bit of an unboxing of this Galaxy Samsung S20, Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus. The coffee's going to help. And in the process, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what I'm going to be doing over the next three weeks because I'm really, really excited for the opportunity. Thank you to my patrons and thank you to everybody who pitched in for my birthday because this is actually coming partially out of the birthday fund and of course the rest out of my patron fund. And so we might as well also thank today's patron producer, Michael Brennan. Michael, thanks for uh, hooking me up with this S20. I appreciate it, buddy. This is going to be uh, stellar. And thanks to all my patrons, of course. And then again, thanks to everybody who made my birthday. It's such a fantastic birthday. Where'd I put my knife? I keep looking at that pile of absolute gold over there. I'm just like so excited to get into it. I'm not gonna rate these objectively by their specs because you can go and look at their specs anywhere. The data's out there, right? Like how many megapixels does the camera have? And whoa, that is just right there. Bam. Sorry, I forgot that I'm supposed to be doing a bit of an unboxing. Let's do that again. That's a pretty looking phone. I currently have the Pixel 3, which I think there might have been an upgraded version that I could have had, uh, and I've had troubles with it. The thing about phones with Jay uh, is that, as I was saying earlier, I kind of work them to death, and so they don't really like me very much. Whoa. It's got this little tab on the bottom that helps you pull it out. Of course, it's got plastic on both sides to keep it safe. Look at those cameras. Look at that rig. Now, one of the things that I've always complained about 
with cell phones, one of the cons of having a phone to do your filming is that it's a fixed lens. You only have the one option. And if you zoom, it's a digital zoom. You know, and there's some gimmicky stuff out there, but like, you're kind of stuck. This is gonna give me a couple different options between the wide angle, the regular lens, and I think there's a telephoto lens on here as well. I didn't really do my research entirely because I figured I'd, I'd figure this out as I go. It'd be more fun to play with it and learn the phone as I went. Um, and because I'm not a giant phone nerd. So this comes with a fast charger in the box, which is great because I need more of these European USB chargers. USB-C, fantastic. This thing is honking, like it's, it's weighty. I was gonna drop it so you could hear just how weighty it was, but I, I think I've probably done enough damage already. Let's see what else we got here. I'm gonna boot this guy up, I think. How much battery is gonna be in here? Is that the power button? This is the first test. Can Jay figure out how to turn the phone on? Yep, there it goes. Galaxy S20 Plus. Okay, well that's going. We've got the USB-C cable, I'm guessing. Yep. And we've got earbuds. Yep. These are uh, very tightly bundled in here. Always down for another nice USB-C cable. If nothing else, I'm really excited about that. Vilket, what? Vyunkadunk bunkabell. I bought this on Amazon.fr. Looks like it might, hold on. Hold on, people. Oh God. Oh no, what language is this? Now, I was gonna say that Oh, thank God. Okay, Mag Magyar, what's Magyar? Somebody leave in the comments what that language was, please. English, United States, ba -doo. Somebody out there is like, you're not gonna put it in French? No, I don't want my phone experience to be homework every time I open it up. Uh, uh. Now, I'm gonna go through this process. I thought about kind of rating the experience of setting these up, you know, and uh, telling you how nice or not really very nice the earbuds are. It doesn't really fit. My ear canal apparently is a little bit larger than they planned for, which I bet is what these are for. Hold on, let's find out. I gotta, I gotta answer the question. If I'm gonna do a proper unboxing, you gotta know. Is this just a little, oh, this is just a little filler box that I don't wanna tear it. Yeah, there's nothing in there. Wait, did it not come with a little packet like to help you open stuff too? Wait, whoa, how do I get the SIM card out? There's usually a little SIM thingy. <laughs> uh oh, we're gonna have to figure that out on our own. Yikes, it's okay. I thought about going through and, um, sorry, this is really annoying, it's not, not comfortable. I'm just gonna go ahead and give that a okay to, I don't know, we'll find out later. Rating, the thing about this is that I don't really, again, like setup between Android, iPhone, it's probably gonna be the same. I mean, if it's shockingly easy, I'll tell you. Uh, uh, I do not wanna receive marketing information. Gotta get on Wi-Fi. Okay, so anyways, this is kind of a pain in the butt process that I'm gonna go through right now. I'm not gonna force you to watch this. If it's like exceptionally easy in the end, Great. Generally, my experience in hopping from Android to Android has been that it just copies everything right over, right away. Uh, and like, it's basically like you, your phone's soul just gets sucked out of one phone and put in another. So unless this is particularly bad or good, we're just gonna assume that part. I'm gonna finish it and then I'm gonna tell you, you know, kind of the whole, how I'm gonna actually rate these phones thing because it's not gonna be like any phone review you, you may have ever seen. I don't know, I haven't watched a lot of phone reviews, clearly. So maybe it's like every phone review you've ever seen. I doubt it. But it's possible. What is the password for the Wi-Fi? That is a real question. Okay, well, this is the first video I'm taking on the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus. <laughs> I always film with the rear camera because the quality is better, generally, on every camera. We're gonna test the selfie cam as well. But I'm gonna talk about a few of the ways that I'm gonna look at this phone. I will give it a rating based on like overall usage and how much I like it. I did go, whoa, when the screen finally popped up with like the super high def background, it looks, really good. Also, the, the, one of the issues now, I've got to figure out which lens I'm supposed to be looking at. I'm looking straight in the middle one. Hopefully that's good enough. Sorry if it feels like I'm looking at your ear right now. The ways that I'm going to do it, so I'll give it a general rating as a phone and how much I enjoy actually holding and using it. And so far, this thing is sexy. I decided to not install all of my apps and copy everything over, partially for time, partially because maybe I'm going to end up returning this phone. I don't know. So I'm just going to use it mostly as a camera. But I did notice that it has dual SIM capability. <laughs> which, uh, boy, I'm kind of excited for the world all of a sudden. So I'm gonna rate it based on workflow, stability, perceived video quality, and audio. I think those are gonna be the main things that I look at. Workflow is the most important for me. How easy is it for me to fit this thing into my daily workflow, both out in the field when walking around filming, which since it's a phone, should be pretty good, but we'll see how quick the camera is. That's a very important thing. To like sitting down on my computer at the end of the day and editing. How easy is it to get files off? How easy is it to use? How quick does it charge? All that kind of stuff. Like those are things that I'm gonna be thinking about. Stability is another one. Like when I first got this phone, 
I really thought, wow, it's super stable. And then I realized, oh no, it looks buttery smooth, but the software that's running that stabilization is screwing all kinds of things up because when you're in motion fast enough, it starts to track with things and all of a sudden you get this jerky motion, things like that. How smooth is this really? Does it glitch at all along the way? Can I walk and talk with it? Or do I need to be on a, like a bike or a wheel for it to look and feel really smooth? Even more important for me is the perceived video quality. We can look at the stats like the resolution and bit rate and all that stuff, but does it actually look and feel good? When you look at it, is the video pleasant to look at? Because it could be a little bit lower quality, perhaps by stats, but maybe it's a little bit higher quality in just how it feels. And then audio is also really, really important. How does it do on wind cancellation, ambient noise? I gotta figure out where the microphones are at, but are they omnidirectional? Are they directional? Is there a difference if I talk like this or on the selfie cam, I'm gonna be paying attention to all that stuff. Like what are, what are the differences and uses and how well does it do in picking up audio? Because audio is the more way more important than video quality in the end. So we gotta make sure that the audio sounds good. Those are the ways that I'm gonna be looking at it. I'll end up trying to come up with like as much of a list that I can keep track of and, and let you know at the end and compare it to the other phones. But that, that gives you a rough idea of how I'm looking at this. How does it feel so far? I gotta get used to holding a phone up again. My, my shoulders are getting kind of tired. Look at that, I'm out of shape. Let's move over to the couch and like open some other boxes now. I mean, I don't know if it's just the quality of the screen, but this video, it looks a sharp. Look, my hands, you can see my hands. I've already noticed two things that are gonna be improvements immediately with this phone over my last phone. One is that it automatically prompts you when you plug it into the computer whether or not you want to allow it to access your phone, which is phenomenal because with my stupid Google Pixel, I have to like swipe down on notifications, wait for the little bar to show up, find that, open it, then click like USB, whatever, and then like, oh, what a, and I have to do that literally every time I plug it into my computer, woof. I'm gonna do a couple days with each phone where I just vlog on the phone and then uh, where I work it in with my other cameras because I wanna see how does it fit, how does it flow. And I'm honestly really, really excited. Where's my knife? Gosh dang it. I don't know what this is about. Hold on a second. Hello, bonjour. Do I disturb you? Bon, vous devez dire. Oui, directement, je vais les envoyer un message. Même c'est possible que je vais laisser votre voix dans cette vidéo-là, ils vont entendre un peu et... Uh... Voss says that was your neighbor. She hopes you're doing really well and she misses you and she thinks it's terrible what's happening in America and she hopes you're recovering well. Basically everybody in this building is, is super sweet. What? Where's the knife? Come on. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna save this. This one, I'm so excited for this. Uh, it's gonna, speaking of workflow, gonna change my life to have that open again. Uh, okay, so let's... Stickers for patrons. If you weren't aware that my patrons, who are amazing, get stickers, loyalty stickers at the end of six months and one year of being patrons. We've also been sending out, we have a bunch of extra stuff that we've been sending out, and we're running low on magnets. So, what we thought we'd do instead, surprise, surprise, if you've been around for like two years, or just random lengths of time because we just like to send stuff to you anyways, coasters. We made these for the game back in the day. They're the illustrations from the game done by my sister, who also did the illustrations on the outside of my book. So, anyways, that's fun. Oh, careful, ripping letters open. Oh, coffee and, ooh, coffee and waffles on me is what it says, and I think there must be masks in here. Hold on, a gift for you, aw. Is this a birthday present? Oh, from Hazel, Hazel. Hazel told me that she was sending me something. Oh, nice, Space Invader key rings. I'm gonna find happy homes for all of these. Oh, there's zipper pulls. That's amazing. I have, I have a home for, we gotta keep these close because I got I got a home for those here in a second. And thank you, Hazel. Bonus euros, Hazel. Thank you. I'm gonna get. I, I mean, I, I'll go get a coffee. Another coffee after this. Ah, Manhattan, Kansas. There's a Manhattan in Kansas. Oh, here we go. Ooh, ooh, coffee mask. Ooh, a Seattle mask. This is. Hold on a second. Seattle Aquarium. Hold on. Hold on. Oh no, it's too. It's kind of too small. Oh, it's way too small. But I love it, but it doesn't fit on my face. Ah, okay, well, the benefit is to all these, here's a coffee mask too. Maybe this one will be big enough. Oh yeah, oh no. Uh, the benefit to all of these masks though, is that I'm getting a lot of masks and I appreciate it. And, and thank you so very much. Feel free to send more masks. 
because I have a lot of friends that need masks. Um, and especially people like at the Peloton, which is where this might be perfect, they don't have enough, especially now that we're required to wear them pretty much all the time, whenever you're inside, and then soon probably on the street as well. I'm really excited to give these to them because these are gonna fit really well. Thank you so much. Hold on, there's more in here. Ooh, there's a card. Jay, love watching your videos. I hope you can use these masks or share with others. You read my mind. Take care, Tammy. Tammy, thank you so very much. These are, I love these patterns. This one right here, the, oh, look at these. Oh, I wish these were big enough for my face. Hold on, it'll work, right? No. Oh. Tammy, thank you. These are gonna find very, very happy homes. Okay, these are from James. These are for the tripod that he gave me, which I have over here. It's a handy dandy switch pod, tripod, that uh, is pretty cool, but unfortunately doesn't come with a ball head on it, so it's actually kind of useless. But then with the ball head, it'll be, it will be, it'll be less than useless. It'll be useful. Thanks, James. We're gonna save this one for second to last. Where's the knife? I think these are, is this from Chris? Whoa, whoa. Oh, thanks for the input on the last pattern. It's been helpful going forward. Keep up the good work. Cheers, Chris. Chris, whoa, there's more over here. Hey Jay, here are the new mask pattern. Wait, oh, I, met, I started reading it the back end. There's also candy in here. Speaking of things to share, woo, I'll be sharing those. Reese's peanut butter cups. Ah, I haven't had Reese's peanut butter cup in a long time. You know Paul, first time he ate very one of these, he ate it with the paper still on it. So, for those of you that have never had a Reese's peanut butter cup before, there's paper lining. Yeah, don't eat that. All right, here we go. We're gonna give this a try. Oh, and something for Gustav. I'll leave that wrapped up. Put that right there. Sticker, mule stickers everywhere. The moment of truth. Drum roll, please. Ooh, there's a dot one. I like, I really like the dots. Hold on. Oh, this is a completely different design than before. What? Ta-da! And look at that, it fits. Hold on. Hey, look at Hey. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. Blah, 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 blah. Look at me, I'm talking. I'm a, I'm a stupid YouTuber who can't stop talking when he's out in his mask. Blah, 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 blah. Great. It fits. I'm keeping these ones. I have a huge face. And uh, when, when the masks come through that actually fit me, life has changed. So, those are mine. Ooh, there's some more fun patterns over here. Oh, all over the world, actually. This is like the, the world traveler version. Oh, how cute. She tied these off as if... I would need a smaller version. Aw. Ah, 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 ah. Chris, you've outdone yourself. This is fantastic. I love it. Oh. This is just a case for the uh, Galaxy. I, uh, I'm not sponsored by these guys, but I pump them every time. Tech 21, they make the most amazing cases. I've only ever had this phone. It's because it's a devil phone. The only phone I've ever had crack while having one of these cases on it. They're miraculous. And they come with, ex they came with changeable button colors. Interesting, okay. Anyways, gotta protect your investment. And these things, you can just toss, like literally you can toss your phone. I don't toss my phone, I don't advocate that, but I feel confident like literally putting it in the most precarious places because if it falls, you know, you got that thing on it. Okay, two last packages. This one is from my buddy, Joel. Joel, uh, ooh, did he send me a letter? Wait, what is this? I hope you're well during the pandemic. Thinking of you, here's some love from the great state of Washington. If you've seen my like upper left USA shirt, among others, I've always had shirts by Joel. Oh my goodness, hold on a second. They're always stickers. Did he make masks as well? <laughs> I can't, I can't fit this on my, on my head. Uh, I'm ready to rob a bank now. The Great PN Dub is his brand, the official logo. Joel, I'm really proud of Joel because he kickstarted his clothing company way back in the day when Kickstarter was still pretty fresh. And uh, he's done really well since then. And uh, I always wondered, would there come a day where I was doing well enough where Joel would want his clothing featured on my measly little channel? Because, uh, you know, I don't have a Northwest channel, though I am a Northwest boy. And that day has finally come. So, oh, this is the long hood. This is the long sleeve tee. I think we should put this guy on. How do I look? Thanks, Joel. This is great. It's high quality stuff. Uh, of course, I'll link below. I always want to support my friends. I love sporting the upper left gear. And uh, yeah, Washington State. Come on. You don't even have to be from Washington State or the Great Pacific Northwest. For those of you that don't know, the Great Pacific Northwest includes Washington, Oregon and uh, Idaho, and I personally like to include Western Montana sometimes because it's so beautiful, but uh, yeah, the PN Dub. 
It's delightful. We can talk more about this another time. One last thing, and then we're gonna go make blueberry muffins. This guy. I have this satchel. I'm kind of ruining what's in the bag for you now. The problem is that uh, the zipper broke like a month ago. And speaking of workflow, that bag is a lifesaver and I love it and it's dead. Thankfully, Peak Design uh, has a lifetime warranty on all their stuff. And so, I got another one for free. I was kind of hoping, to be honest, that they would take this, repair it, send it back um, because I'm not a huge fan of the fact that there are just more of these in the world now. But uh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm dying to have this bag back. It's a lifesaver. Thank you, Martin, for hooking me up and helping me out with this as well. The 10 liter everyday sling. When I do my gear video, I'll do a gear video here soon. Possibly when I finally decided which phone I'm gonna stick with. This thing is freaking amazing. I love it to death. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to have this back. Oh, it makes my life better. Anyways, thanks to everybody who sent me stuff. Thank you for the Kit Kats, for the masks, for the mask extenders. I'm gonna make sure that I have enough masks to last me through the week. I'm gonna be giving a whole bunch of masks, like I said, probably to the Peloton because they actually specifically asked if I had any extras to give them to them because for their staff, everybody, it'll make their lives a little bit better if they have them. And I'm so excited for them to see these guys, especially this one with the bikes on it. Very on brand, very, very, very good. These are great. Thank you so much. Let's go make blueberry muffins. I'm hungry. Bad news baristas. No muffins today. Unfortunately, I got scheduled out of making muffins, but it's okay. We're gonna make muffins soon. Blueberry muffins, I miss them so much. They're one of my favorite breakfasts ever. You think I like waffles? I don't like waffles. I like blueberry muffins. Anyways, you get an extra long unboxing video today because of that. I hope that uh, you didn't mind. It was a very different style of video between talking about the whole camera thing and the unboxing, but I had a great time. I hope you had a great time. Thanks again to everybody who sent stuff. Thanks again to my patrons for being amazing. And thanks to you for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever it is you are. And I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning for yet another wonderful day of delightful madness here in Paris and some Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus footage. That's a long name. They, should, they, gotta, they gotta fix that if nothing else. See you tomorrow. Uh -huh.